Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. This month we thought it would be good to show you how to make a few different watercolor holiday cards. We decided to break it up into three parts. The three cards that we're going to show you how to make are a wet and wet wash hanging ornament. We posted that tutorial last week. Today you will learn how to paint a simple holiday shape. We're going to use a Christmas tree in this case and then add text or a message over the top. And then the last card we're going to show you is a simple watercolor wash with a holiday illustration inside. That's one of my favorites. All you need are basic watercolor supplies. Just a simple eight color watercolor set will work great. A round paintbrush, this is a round number 10. Water, a paper towel, watercolor paper, and this is a piece of watercolor paper that I've cut in half. Pencil and eraser. Something that's round to trace with. Cups work great colored pencils. I'm using a micron pen. I'm also using this oil-based metallic gold pen to add some details and borders and even text inside your card. Also, of course, masking tape if you want to tape a border. And optional, I forgot to include in this picture, is a ruler. The second way to create a really simple Christmas card using watercolors is to paint a shape like a tree or some kind of holiday themed thing and add text inside. So I'm going to show you how to do a Christmas tree with some words inside. I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. The first way is to add the words first where you draw them in pencil. If you have really good handwriting, you can just write it out. And if you're good at lettering, then go ahead and just letter those in. If you're not, go ahead and just trace it. That's what I usually do. And the way I'm going to be tracing it, it's called a graphite rub. So I'm just going to grab a graphite pencil that's pretty dark, rub it on the back of my letters, tape it down, and then trace around what I want to keep. Take it off and then I have the letters all nice and crisp. And then you want to draw a light triangle around it just so you can keep your tree in that shape. When we paint this tree in, you do not want to paint over this pencil. Because if you paint over these lines, they're going to stay there and you don't really want to see, well maybe you do, but I don't really want to see this triangle. So I'm gonna make sure when I paint this tree in that I paint inside those lines. First, drop some water into your tray and make a puddle and then add your colors to that puddle. So you have enough paint to paint in the whole tree. All right, decide what color you want your tree to be. Do you want it to be a dark evergreen green? Then you can add a little blue, a little brown to it. Of course, you can add black to it or purple, even red. There's a ton of ways to make this a deeper green. And go ahead and start from the top, brushing away kind of from where the center would be, gradually getting further away and carefully, this is the hard part with this one, carefully painting around those letters. It doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. I just chose to show you a Christmas tree for this tutorial. And there's so many ways to paint them as well. You don't have to paint them this way. This first one, the hard part is painting around those letters and not painting through them. You can add masking fluid to make that a little bit easier or you can just add it later in Photoshop, which is awesome. You can add a brown tree trunk. You could add a green tree trunk. I might add a little bit of brown to my green just so it looks a little bit different. After it's dry, erase out your pencil lines and there you go. With this Christmas tree, since the lettering looks kind of goofy and handwritten, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna add some more ink, add a star, make this look a little bit more illustrative. So I'm just gonna add some of these branches and these, the tree trunk texture and maybe even a little star on top. The second way to do this is to paint in your tree and then add either colored pencil or ink or marker over the top and just write your holiday message. And again, if that's hard for you, then you might want to use the graphite transfer method to put your lettering on there. You could even write a verse or a scripture or a holiday message. All right, for this one, just mix up your green. I'm just adding a little bit of violet to my green this time. And maybe I'll change it a little bit as it moves towards the bottom. I'll just add a little bit of purple in my puddle. So to paint your tree in there, just start at the top. And if it helps, you can draw a triangle in there. So start at the top and then we're just moving away. I want the middle to be fairly dark. So you can see I'm just kind of coming away from the middle and coming out towards the sides. And as I move down, I'm gonna start adding purple to this puddle or brown, just so you can see like what it looks like when I am painting with two different colors. It's gonna blend nicely if this layer above that I'm adding it to is still wet. If it's dry, it's not really going to work as well. So I'm just kind of coming out towards the edge and then as I get towards the center, it's kind of moving it down towards the bottom of my page. And then I'm going to add a little brown to this 
for my trunk. You can make that trunk however you want. I just like to add a little bit of like a landing area for it. So this is a tree using two different colors and we're going to add text on top of it. So once that tree is dry, go ahead and erase the pencil triangle if you used it and add your text. You could add a quote in there. You could add a verse. You could just add designs and texture over the top. You can draw a frame around it if you'd like and you are finished. I hope you learned something today in this tutorial. Next week, I'm going to show you how to paint a simple watercolor wash background with an illustration on top of it. It's really, really easy, really simple, and very, very quick. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for painting with me on Mr. Otter's studio. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful holiday weekend.